Welcome to part three of my six frame walk cycle tutorial with Mr. Humpty Dumpty here. Uh, this is the last and shortest one, um, but just want to uh, cover a couple of different concepts. One is bounce and uh, one is um, one is merging layers if you no longer need them to be uh, separate. separate. So I'm going to start off with um, merging two layers here. And those layers are the pants and the front leg. So I'm going to take my pant layer right here. I'm going to move it down one, just so it's above my Humpty body uh, layer. But I'm just going to hit this merge with layer below because I don't actually need this to be a separate layer anymore. Now that I've got the pants on this guy, you just merge those two. And I'm just going to call this body layer or body. Okay. So. Now we're going to begin the process of adding just a little bit more customization to this uh, character. Um, one of the important things is, is during a walk cycle, there is actually a slight up and down body movement. Now, that's pretty easy to accomplish using the move tool, um, but we're going to only apply it to certain frames. And those frames are frame number two, and frame number five. And both of those frames, I'm gonna turn actually my layer opacity back up here so you can see it. Uh, the reason it's layer two and layer five is that layer two and layer five are essentially the uh, flat foot contact with the ground frame. So the thigh is slightly bent, the calf is straight and the foot is connecting with the ground. The other leg is in the air. So that's actually the lowest point in the walk cycle. That's kind of where your body dips slightly. If we were getting more complex and had more uh, pixels, pixels to work with, there's a, actually a more of a gradual sort of up-down movement that flows with a walk cycle. But with only a small character like this, you can only really do this um, by about one pixel. So on frame number five and frame number one, I'm going to drop the body by one pixel. So frame number two there, so this is the other one. Drop it by one. No, that doesn't look right. So just frame two and frame five. And just gives them this kind of jaunty little bob. It's nothing uh, too crazy, but it does add a little bit of extra detail to it. Now, you'll notice he has this little feather in his hat. This is a, one of those little detail things that can be useful for uh, adding a little bit of extra detail. Um, when you're dropping down, what should actually happen is there should be a little bit of a drag as a feather is lighter on the drop. So actually, that feather should remain a little bit higher up. So I am going to actually adjust it here, just on my frame number two, and keep it in its original position. Um, so I'm going to drop, kind of put it like this. It stays here. And uh, it will come down. I'm just going to reference how it looked. Okay, so it's a Block, 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 block. Okay. And it comes in like this. And then the red goes like that. So the point here of contact remains, that does move because it is moving. And then as you come back up, it's actually going to have a little bit of drag on it. So at this point, it actually comes down again. Um, so we're going to drop the whole thing by about one. that in like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and then it comes back down again. I need to make sure it is up here. And then you go back up, and once again, you're going to drop the whole thing by about one here. And just gives that uh, feather just a little bit of a jiggle there as he moves. And there we go, yeah. Yeah. And just gives that feather a little jaunty jing jiggle as he's moving there. So um, that's kind of how I'd go about doing it. Uh, this is just extra detail. It's basically just uh, thinking about this end of this feather kind of always being a frame behind, whereas the bottom is anchored to the hat, so it is moving with the character. That doesn't change right here where it's anchored. But this always just has kind of that little bit of a flowing. It's always one frame behind as far as its animation goes. And that's how you add just a little bit of a bounce and a little bit of a sort of a cloth or a feather motion. This really does apply for anything that's a little bit um, flexible or... Um, non non sort of structured things like clothing also follow these sort of rules it's called drag and uh, you can check that out on a couple of other uh, animation videos if you want